Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> All right, it's your boy Drew. We are back with the Alaska University Dynasty, and as you can see, we have a bit of stumping, uh, a bit of a stump we ran into with recruiting. Not a bit of a stumping, a bit of a stump. Um, everyone else committed to different schools, so as you can see. Um, we're stuck with two recruits, and even then, we are tied for, I'm more technically second, but we're tied with Alaska, or Nebraska, excuse me, and then we're tied with USC, and the bars aren't even filled, so we might not even get a single recruit this season. So, down in the comments below, please give me something to do about this. What do you want me to do? Should I... End it after one season. If I get no recruits, should I play one more season? And then if I get only like one or two recruits, should I just stop? Should I pick up the series, say an NCA 14 or something like that, etc.? I don't know. Someone tell me what to do, but they both have 50 hours, and uh, this is the week where we play San Jose State University. So um, I went ahead and scheduled some activities for both of them, uh, mainly um, academic based. Um, for various reasons, because we're 0 and 10, um, and we have a five-star um, academic school. Um, go ahead and show you the roster for a second here. Heard has gone up a couple overall. Barbara, I think we've already seen that one. Stanley even went up. Stewart still hasn't gone up an overall, which is insane to me for how good he's been playing. Don't know why he's not doing better, but um, last week. I think, or two weeks ago, we got our first 70, and everyone else has uh, been staying about the same. Um, no new, really, like, overall boost, kind of. Well, Ford got one, looks like Anderson got one, that's good. Um, so the problem is, um, so see, Brown's a senior. We have no senior quarterbacks, which is good. So we'll have our starting, uh, what was it, quarterback? running back fullback and our receiver because I don't think we have any senior receivers so in that aspect we're good um, left tackle senior so he'll be gone so luckily he'll have to step in but then he'll be a senior next year and then freshman here so we're, okay we're good there on tackles but then if we check I think the defense side of the balls are really gonna lose a lot of people uh, left end both of them are seniors uh, even our right ends a senior D tackle, uh, Doherty's a senior, so luckily we have a lot of D tackles to fill in. Like, he will be gone, but I redshirted him this year. Just only, I think this is my only red shirt. Uh, Anderson, senior. So luckily, we'll okay, we'll be good, kind of there. But a lot of these players are upperclassmen, so senior again. Darby will be gone. Um, luckily, we'll be again okay here. But again look at this both seniors for strong safeties unless this game has walk-ons like NCA 14 we might be screwed I don't know how good we're gonna do after this season uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top five USC Oklahoma West Virginia a uh, Virginia Tech and Arkansas check the Heisman Rodney Young the halfback sophomore from uh, Ohio State is in a nice strong first place right behind him is Kevin Ford so like as you know we play the San Jose State game um, at Alaska which is great because we might get a little bit of a home crowd cheer um, but as you can see they are obviously still better than us but they are not the best uh, their pass offense is the best they have um, averaging about 200 yards but our total defense is pretty good, mainly because we allow punt and kick returns, so our numbers are kind of skewed. Joel Smith, I believe our starting right guard, um, was arguing with the position host today about how to run practice. Well, we definitely have to show him that is not tolerated. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him three quarters, sadly. Our offensive line is going to get worse. Um, Underwood is also out for, I believe this is his last game. He's already served one game. On a suspension so this should be his last game as we're gonna pick the alternate ones wait alternate what wait well okay I don't know if it was like that blue but alternate ones for San Jose State basically their colors as we have the same color scheme let's go ahead and hop into this game even with Darby having such bad quarterbacks he is still has 832 receiving yards 
and that's only like 340 behind the number one wide receiver according to the awards, like the best wide receiver or whatever that award's called. He only has 11,000 or 1,100 yards, excuse me. Um, but he also has like, I think 11 touchdowns, so, or something like that. It, he was up there, but mainly this team can pass. They got 2,100 passing yards, as you saw. So let's see what we could do. Maybe a uh, Darby, Carter, Ward. Uh, come on, he's he's my, he's like one of my favorites. What's his name? I don't remember. Uh, McClendon. That's his name. Maybe uh, they can do something on the defensive side of the ball. As we're gonna get this one underway in front of this massive crowd in Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> Nice, green made to tackle, and it's going to be a decent return, but nonetheless, uh, pretty good as they didn't score the first kickoff, so it's nice to see. First and 10 now as they're going toss to the right, gets a couple good blocks, and man, Vincent is already going to be gone as there is no chance as I slid the line to the left, went ahead and used her to the right, and just, man, one play touchdown as that guy is 5-8 but he is fast look at him go if gold would have been pancaked there maybe we had a chance to get him we also got blocked in the secondary but that's gonna be a 68 yard run to the house and san jose state is gonna go up very early in this game they have a green star cornerback and then a yellow star right or technically their left outside linebackers we're gonna go counter oh come on Oh, counter to the right as we go absolutely nowhere as the right tackle lets the man beat him and tackle us. And that's second and long, which I didn't want as we're going to roll. Look for... Are you... Oh, this is going to be one of those games, isn't it? Okay. Hit as he threw the ball, and the ball falls well short of where he wanted to throw the ball. As that is another interception for Hurd very early on in the game. Which is going to hurt his motivation and morale and make him a worse quarterback by the end of the day. Let's see what the Mountaineers can do against these San Jose State Spartans as we're lined up with green on the right side. This is another toss. As Gold's going to get out there and try to wrap him up and he's just going to get thrown off. That's already another one play touchdown. This is not looking good. If we don't get a close game, I don't know if we're going to get any recruits this season. If we don't do anything, we might not get a single recruit. Already 14 to zero now for the Spartans, as we're gonna try to run it with Barbarous. He's gonna fall forward for about a gain of five. Second and five now is gonna drop back to pass. We're gonna herds and oh, there's nowhere to go. Oh, flag, face mask. <laughs> we got bailed out. We got bailed out. We're definitely gonna accept that. Take our first and ten with the personal foul and. We got lucky because that was a 13-yard sack. Safeties came up. A lot of men in the box. Drop back pass. Looking for Thomas as he catches it over the middle. Right side kind of falls forward for first down. Spread the love a little bit today as we're going to try to not only draw all the attention to Stewart, but give it to Thomas sometime here. And then keep going back and forth, back and forth. That's how we're going to try to work the system as we're going to drop back to pass again for another slant. As Thomas again as he makes the grab and fumbles. As he fumbles, and now the ball goes back to the Spartans. As we can't do anything about that unless he was down and we get a booth review. I'm not going to waste a challenge because it did not look like he was down. That ball looked like he was popped free by the big hit. If we can just put up some points and maybe show our last two recruits that we're a decent program. I really want the guy from Alaska because then that at least gives us a hometown player. And then I really hope that this game also does... Bounces off third and extra long now. I really hope this game does walk-ons because NCA 14 does walk-ons You don't have to scholarship them. They'll just commit if they are recruiting like your school if they're bad enough usually or um, I think they even just generate players. I don't really know that one But I'm kind of hoping that's what happens because we're gonna be down a couple players Drop back to pass long over the middle dropped again fourth down This looks like a game that we can compete in if we didn't have those first two slip-ups with the interception and then the two long runs. Okay, I like our numbers to the right here, so let's see what we can do here as cornerback blitz. This is what we can't run the ball. I don't think we're gonna be able to run the ball either next season because it's not like we brought in new linemen to block for us. Like our only chance now is two defensive players. So <laughs> like 
This is difficult, man. We're going to drop back the pass again. Thomas over the middle as the pressure gets to us, and we throw it right as we're hit. And it falls and hits the ground. Third and 14, and if we can complete a pass here, we'll probably end up going for it for Stewart as he... We don't have to. Oh, come on. Oh, they got a cheat to beat us. Definitely still decline it because it's... Um, uh, we get more yards that way. Uh, first down as well, but Hurd catches the ball, falls forward, and he gets the first down, so we don't even have to, a chance to go for it, which is good as the safeties are going to come up. We're going to be blocking eight people. Nine? Nine. Eight. Eight people. Excuse me. I'm going to drop back the pass. And we're sacked again as our linemen are letting everybody come aboard. Just like Noah and his raft. Why did I say raft? It was a boat. I'm an idiot. Third and extra long now as safety is coming up into the box. We're going to see what we can do here. We really, we can't. Okay, I was going to put him on a wheel route, but I guess not. I'm going to drop back to pass here. And we're going to dump it off. To Barbarous, he's gonna fall backwards and lose even more yards as now we have to punt this way because it's fourth and a mile. Man, oh man, fourth and a mile. We're gonna go ahead and punt this one away. Fumble, fumble, fumble. <gasps> we got it. I I don't know how he fumbled. That was the weakest tackle I've seen. He should have just fell to the ground and lost it. The game's feeling petty for us, but we'll take it as we're going to get the ball back on our 47-yard line. And we're going to see what we can do with it here as we're going to drop back to pass his first play. And we're going to look for Thomas over the middle as he makes the grab, holds on, falls backwards, but still going to get a gain of eight. We're going to go ahead and try to beat this clock. Nice and quick passes here as we're going to go... Stewart, I don't know how that one got there, but it hit the window perfectly. And Stewart falls forward for another first down. Run the ball. I mean, pass the ball, pass the ball, pass the ball. Hit him with a run. Oh, my. As our left guard gets pancaked into the next year. And uh, it's going to be a loss of one now. Second and 11 now is we're going to drop back to pass again. Looking for Stewart over the middle as he catches it. But he has to twirl in midair as the ball is behind him. But he's still going to get a gain of eight. This is now going to be third and three. A motion barber out to the right side. We're going to drop back to pass. We're going to throw it underneath to Thomas. And it must have been him as he threw his heel through that ball by quite a while. As it is now third and three at the 29. I don't think we have the leg for this. We're going to have to go for it. I, I, I really don't think we have the leg for this. Especially with the wind now coming at our faces. And uh, I think we're going to have to drop back to pass once more. As we're gonna throw this one away again. And Stewart's route was jumped. And that is going to be another Mountaineer turnover. Second and one now. They're going to come out in the single back set with two tight ends, and they're going to go counter play, play action, fake, throw to the corner, and Carter's going to make a spectacular play and uh, get his hand on that ball there and make him drop it. Third and one as they're going to come out in a tight formation, looking to run it up the gut, and they do. Vincent gets it, breaks another tackle, and Darby's going to get blocked, and man, that running back is too good. First and ten. First and ten formation, and we're going to come out in a very, very tight formation as well as we're going to try to get Stewart a play rest. He's going to go counter to Barber, and he's immediately going to be swallowed up behind the line. Second and eleven here, we're going to drop back to pass. We're going to look for Stewart just over the middle as that ball is going to get brought in for another first down. Third and ten now, we're going to drop back to pass. Gonna, oh, Hurd's going to scramble, and oh my goodness! He couldn't even get back to the line before. Look at how fast this player is. Look at that. There was not a chance that Hurd was going to get a single yard on that. First and ten now. As uh, they used a the timeout to stop the clock so they could try to get another chance to score. So they're going to give it to Vincent. Vincent's going <sighs> to luckily be pushed out of bounds after uh, pushing off of us. 
Second and seven now, as we're going to try to get in there and cause some ruckus with the sack, as we're going to blitz. He's going deep. McClendlin just over his hands, as he cannot tip it or pull in the interception. Man, that throw was only going to one receiver, and he went up and got it as it was just out of our reach for McClendlin. Drop backs to pass. Ball is thrown. Are you kidding me? He just got a mini little Sonic Turbo Boost to go catch that ball. We're just going to not go past that. I'm already 0-10 down by like a total score of like 13 to like 797 probably. And they're just going to let people teleport to catch balls? <laughs> Come on now, yay. Down 28-0 to zero to the Spartans. And the one game we want to do decent to where we can show the recruits that, you know, if you come and join our program, maybe we can win a game. <laughs> but it doesn't look like that's going anywhere as we get to receive at the start of half. Stewart's back in and he's healthy as they Oh, he got bumped. Five yards. That was less than five yards. Give us pass interference call. We got a pass interference call when he caught it, but when he's not even near the zone, they just won't give it to us. Third and extra long now is going to drop back to pass. We're going to look for Thomas over the middle. He's going to... Bounce off his knee pad and cannot hang on to make the grab. Is a ball's gonna be dropped and whoa! <laughs> I don't know if that was a voice crack or I just have something in my throat. That was very in between both of them because it sounded very high pitch, but it was also like I'm clogged. That was horrible. Back on defense for this one is they're gonna get their speedy running back as he is tripped up and falls just short of the first down. Second and two now is end up in a shotgun formation with Vincent to his right. As he's going to give a draw to Vincent as he's going to fall forward for a first down. As I believe that's eight carries for 170 plus yards for this kid. Third and two as we're looking for a handoff of the guy. No, it's a play action fake thrown to the left. And Robinson's going to have a first down, step out of bounds. First and ten now for the Spartans. They're going to drop back to pass on a screen play. And Vincent's going to be got... And brought down behind the line. Third and 11 now. As, uh, if we can stop him here, we might be able to force a field goal. So let's see if they're going to go back to Vincent. No, they are actually. As the speed is finally going to be pushed out of bounds after another first down for the Spartans. As no one can get out there on that swing route to get him. First and goal now at the 10 yard line. As they're probably going to give it back to Vincent as they do, and he's going to make a move and get to the outside, and that's going to be another Spartan touchdown. First and 10 now for the Mountaineers. We're going to go run play as Barber fumbles, and Tucker can't fall on it. It's going to be a Spartan's ball again after that fumble. First and 10 for the Spartans now as they're going to put... Oh, I'm going to go guard him. We know where he's going. He's just too fast as actually he throws it to Temple over the middle. A little tight end dump off pass like Gronk. And that's going to be a 24 yard gain as they are now back inside the goal line. First and goal as it's a counter to Vincent again. A couple pancake blocks and he can mosey on into the end zone with his quick speed. That's another Spartan touchdown. First and 10 as we put in a formation that gives Stewart a break as Barber's going to get another chance to run the ball, and he does. He's going to fall forward for about a gain of seven. Those plays were just for Stewart to go ahead and gain some of his... Oh, thrown behind Thomas as uh, those plays were to give Stewart some of his energy back as he got pressed at the line, couldn't give him the ball. Throw to Thomas, heard through it behind him because we're not very good. And it's another fourth down for the Mountaineers. First and ten now as they're going to go play action fake to the end zone. Darby's going to pick this one. He's going to run it. He has some blockers. Oh, and Vincent wasn't on the field. That could have been a... Well, okay, maybe not. 16 was kind of fast too, but that is a great... Almost 50-yard return right there from Darby. That would have been the longest interception touchdown in NCAA history. That would have been 101 yards. But nonetheless, that's the longest return in Mountaineers history going for about 50. Let's see if we can do anything with it now. We're going to drop back to pass. We're going to throw it to Johnson. Oh, Johnson makes the catch. Oh, I hate when it does slow motion because I can't click on and I can't click triangle and I can't lead them to where I want to. And it, 
it's kind of annoying. It's a very cool feature that I would love in, you know, in Studio 2021 or something like that. But nonetheless, Johnson made the grab, and that's what I'm thankful for. Rolled out to the right, redirected him upfield away from traffic, threw it over the top, luckily somehow, as we're going to hand it off to Barb this time. He's going to fall forward for a gain of two. Third and inches now as we're... Stored over the middle of the ball's kind of behind him, but it might have worked in our favor. It is still going to be a first down for the Mountaineers as we are in field goal territory and fourth down territory. Third and 12 now. He's going to drop back the pass. We're looking. We're looking. Throw to Stewart, and he's going to drop it again. I even threw it to his backside shoulder so it would stay out of the middle man, and he wouldn't have a chance of Heard messing it up that bad. And even then, it's going to fall incomplete as he drops it. As we're going to bring the field goal team on the field. As the wind is to our faces, and we have to kick this one at a bit of an angle. Let's see if Ward can get it there. So he's going to angle it. He's going to pull back. He's going to get a good kick. It's going to go. Oh! <laughs> our only chance at points today, and he missed from 26. So he definitely wouldn't have made it from 29 yards out when I went for it, but... Well, now we know where we can kick from anywhere less than uh, 20 yards out is a no-go. This is going to give it to Wright. Wright's going to make some moves, make a man miss, and be brought down by Carter after a gain of 12 for a first down. Third and one for the Spartans as there is an under a minute left for this game as we may get zero recruits because we have shown... Absolutely nothing I'm sure they want to see besides us getting a stop and now it being fourth and four. 30 seconds to make something happen here as uh, we're going to go play action pass, drop back to pass. We're looking, looking, looking. Nobody is open as we're going to somehow get it to Thomas. I didn't press his button. I was trying to throw to Johnson on, or I think it was Johnson, or Jones on the underneath route because he had a step. But nonetheless, it worked as we're going to go for the same play again and hope that Thomas on the comeback route is just overthrown as it looks like it's going to be second and 10 now. As that's going to be at 42 to 0, the Spartans will advance into 5 and 6 and we will all go downhill to 0 and 11 now as Coach Tompy gets his hand shaked. As obviously you could tell, his players are not proud of the performance of the game. But man, oh man, did that Vincent running back wherever he lined up really, uh, really showed us that he was made of something special. Somehow, as you could see as I was looking at this, we are not the worst team in the nation. We are 115. I have no clue who is worse than us. As we advance this week, next week we play no ne Nevada, excuse me, not Notre Dame, Nevada as they are second to last in our conference um, as they were behind San Jose State which was third to last and we are dead last so this is going to be the battle of the whack bums next game as uh, Nevada does have a couple games under their belt I believe they have three or four wins on the season to our zero so we check the game info they actually have six wins I lied they are six wins but they've lost two straight uh, their pass defense isn't very good, so maybe we can get lucky there. Um, but overall, next week's probably going to be a hard week. Let's go ahead and check in with the recruits. Down goes our other recruit as he is going to commit to Nebraska. Looks like we're not going to improve any at all in this offseason as we only have one shot left to even get a recruit from Los Angeles, California, Jimmy Jean, as we are first, and he is verbally committed softly, but we couldn't even get an Alaska, guys, so I don't know how this next season's going to go, as uh, we're going to get one recruit, it looks like, if we put 100 hours into him, and it doesn't look like he's going to commit, he's got good potential, so maybe a senior, he'll be our superstar that leads us to at least a couple wins, but... The next season's definitely going to be a struggle too, but he has poor discipline, so he's got his ups and his downs. He's very fast for a D-tackle too. We're going to go ahead and check. Actually, oh, I did check that. I was going to see maybe he uh, offered um, a promise, but he did not. But we're going to go ahead and check the 
ESPN Magazine, and I'm going to go ahead and find what team is worse than us. All right, so after we scrolled all the way down, it does look like we aren't the worst team. We were 115 last week, so I don't know what happened. Um, or it said we were 115 at the end of the game, but Wyoming won their first game last week, so that's probably why New Jersey Tech got absolutely destroyed. But uh, they won earlier in the year, so but we are not the worst team. Canada County, the Canadian Bulls, are actually considered the worst team. As uh, I mean, their stats don't look like it, but I mean they score touchdowns at least. So, but I guess they were probably yeah they have points, and they have a decent defense looks like. But I guess they're they are in a pretty hard MAC East conference. But we are not the worst team. There is one team worse than us somehow. But we are definitely tied for dead last. And I'd put us worse than them as they can score and play some kind of defense and we cannot. But it does look like technically we aren't the worst team. Although they average 7,000 more attendance. So it does look like they are more fun to watch that is anyway. As we are getting... Yeah, if you compare the stats, they have everything better than us like they can run the ball decent yeah. I, I I just guess that's how the game works because I, I don't know we're both 0 11 but they are definitely a better team than us on paper and probably could beat us in game too had to clear my throat but that's gonna go ahead and be the end of this week as we're gonna hop into the last week um, after this buy anyway actually let's go ahead and send this buy maybe we can get our first commit and this episode will have an upside We'll go ahead and send this by week, see what happens. Maybe we can get lucky. Everyone start chanting. Let's go Mountaineers, Mountaineers, Mountaineers. When we climb over the hill, we win our games and cheer. That's our new chant, by the way. Made it up on the spot like a rapper. Um, we're going to go ahead and send this by week, like I said. Hopefully get lucky and at least get that one guy to commit. So we have a decent upside um, this episode. Last, uh, the next episode will probably be the last one of the season, not the last one overall, just of the season, because uh, it's Nevada, unless I decide to do an off-season one, um, going over like uh, to our top players and saying goodbye to players, which we, we might do, you know, we'll see, but here we go, we're going to go into recruiting here, we're going to see what happened as I click X, and it loads, hasn't committed yet. He's still soft verbal, but USC and Boise State are on our tail. And it looks like he has interest in our school, is picking up, but he still hasn't committed. And everyone else is tied, but he's soft verbally. But hey, he has bad discipline. He might go back on his word. You never know. As we're going to go ahead and get out of here, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, click like button down below. If you're new, subscribe. Please give me tips, tricks, comments, questions, concerns in the comments down below as uh, I'm going to try to keep rolling these out. Uh, either every day, every other day, every two days. Usually I take the weekends off. Never know with me. Um, I'm going to just try to get up at least three to a week for now since it's quarantine. I literally have nothing to do. But once quarantine gets out, it'll probably be one or two a week. Depending on how I feel, what I'm doing, etc. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, click like button below. If you're subscribe, I already said all this. So I'm going to get out of here. It's your boy Drew. <gasps> Goodbye. Dang, I really rap god at that whole thing. You guys should be really proud of me. Also, check out Pat McAfee. If you don't know what it is, you need to. His podcast is amazing. Great punter for the Colts. Was anyway retired now. A little plug. I'm sure you guys already know what it is because you're watching a small YouTuber and he is a famous man. See y'all later. Goodbye. I really did rap god all that. Oh my goodness. I'm nuts.